How you doing guys? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, we're going to be digging, or we're going to be uh, looking for some, uh, I think it's called Centrale Mushrooms. Um, don't hold me to it. You know, my pronunciation is pretty bad on about everything. So, but I'll show you what the mushroom looks like. I did a video a while back about them. And, um, boy, I've been wanting some more of them mushrooms. So now it's the prime time. They're up. And we're gonna go get some. Uh, early this morning, we went and dug, or we went and dug up some uh, ramps. And this is getting about the middle of uh, July or something here, and I'm still eating ramps. Uh, once they're gone, I still know how to get them. So, if you want to see that video, check it out. I got one on the ramps there just a couple days ago. I, I dug them this morning. I'm sure you can see the video. Uh, so let's get to hunting these centrails. Now, these centrails. I'm out on a trail here, and you can see right there's a couple nice ones right there. A couple nice ones right there. And then I, was going, I see some way up in here. I'm going to walk up in these woods a little bit. We can come down to them. Them are right next to the trail. Uh, we'll go up here and check these out up here. I see some up here. They look like they're pretty good ones. Oh, yeah, there's some up here. here they're starting to come up you can see them all through here nice and trails sand trails however you say so let's get some of these up okay I brought me a little bag with me here I'm gonna be taking some of these home I don't need a whole bunch but we're gonna take enough home for a mess A nice mess of these mushrooms. Give me a nice little plastic bag here. Let's see how many we can get. And I just sort through them and take the best looking ones. If they look like they're drying out or something like that, I won't mess with them. These mushrooms are just all through these woods. And they're very good mushroom. I think I said in the last video, I think I said in the last video how you can tell these are good. And if you take the bottom of these and you pull on them, they almost look like chicken inside. They almost look like chicken. Look at that. They just pull right apart. Just like a chicken breast. That's what's cool about these mushrooms. They're, they're really good. They taste good. I'm going to cook me a steak with these tonight. And I'm going to take some of them ramps. We're going to chop some mushrooms up and some ramps. And we're going to have us a steak tonight. Well, what's really nice about looking for these mushrooms is you can see them from a pretty far distance because they're a bright color. That's what makes them easy to find. I'm surprised that more people don't hunt them because uh, they're so easy to find and they taste so good. This don't make a lot of sense to me. So we're just going to keep going through here. I wish I knew more about mushrooms because this place here is loaded. Check this mushroom out. There's mushrooms everywhere through these woods here. I don't even know what that thing is. I, I don't know. I, I'd be real careful on what I'm picking. I only take what I know. Because uh, mushrooms could be you know, pretty bad for you, I guess. You get the wrong one, could uh, probably could kill you. So I'm just gonna walk on across here and keep picking these mushrooms. Boy, now this is a funky looking mushroom, but I don't know what it is, so I can't eat it. I was walking over this way. I'm seeing more of these centrails. You can see the little orange ones on the ground. They're all through here. 
some nice ones in there. Look how nice them are. Then there's more down here. They're just everywhere. Ooh, a big mess down here. These are some big ones. I'll take some of these. Look at how nice them are. Tons of them. All over the place here. I really don't take too much of the stem on the mushroom. Uh, it's a little tougher. But I usually take the top of it, try to leave the bottom. Well, these are going to be some good mushrooms here. And I think we got more than enough for us to uh, make a steak, that's for sure. Especially if it's just me that's eating them, so... Look at this little weird mushroom growing out of here. Like I said, this place is full of mushrooms. Any kind of mushroom you want, I'll bet it's in these woods right here. It stays damp in here, so. All right, we got our mushrooms back at the house here. We got them cleaned up, just washed them up a little bit. And then uh, we got our garlic, or our ramps. We're gonna go ahead and slice up our ramps. I'm just going to cut them in little small slices so they'll cook up nice. I'll get these all diced up here or sliced up. Alright, we got the uh, skillet down and I got a little non-stick spray on there. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. We're going to use that to cook our mushrooms. I'm going to go ahead and throw the ramps down in there. That way they could be cooking up. We'll just leave the ramps in there and then we'll go ahead and get our mushrooms sliced up. All right, we're gonna just take the mushrooms and we're just gonna slice them. Gonna slice them up just like this for our steak. And I'll do a nice little mess of these. I don't use the stems too much. Look how our ramps have been in there cooking a little bit while we were uh, chopping up our mushrooms. We're just going to go ahead and throw the mushrooms down in here. Stir them around a little bit and let them cook. Okay, I think our mushrooms and our ramps are good enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push them off to the side there. Get the steak in there. And we'll get these cooking up. Alright, that one looks so good, I figure I'd throw a second one in there. Now I'm just using a steak seasoning on these, and I put a little bit on my uh, mushrooms and everything. Now this steak's not going to take very long to cook. I, I don't really like mine well done. I kind of like it medium to well. Alright guys, dinner's done. Um, if you're wondering where the vegetables are, they're right there in them mushrooms and those ramps. So uh, this is a guy's plate, I'm sure. Uh, there might be some women out there that might like this, but um, I guarantee you there's a lot of guys out there looking at this plate uh, saying, hmm, I'd like to have one of them. Well, I guess it's time to eat now. Um, like I told you guys before, I'll cook for you anytime because that means I'm going to get to eat some good food. Uh, these mushrooms, like I said, try to give them a try. They're really good. It's, they're not hard to find. They're actually really easy to find because of the color of them. And they're really good. I mean, you can season them just along with your steak. That's what I do. I used just a little bit of steak seasoning on there. And I used it on the mushrooms and the uh, ranch too. So, uh, 
we're going to give this thing a, a taste medium well mm. let me get some of these mushrooms you guys would be surprised I think these mushrooms are just as good as the morel mushrooms they go out, the fun, the haystack, haystacks. Actually, I may think they're just a little bit better than them, and I don't know why. I just like these better. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.